Hello everyone! Today's wandering is taking us to a very very special place. Ta-da! <laughs> we are at the entrance to Eden now. Okay, let me explain that. It is the Eden Project, which is something pretty amazing in Cornwall. And it's part of my plan of my mini holiday to have a massive wandering here. So there will be several parts to this wandering because there's a lot to see here. So I will go check it out and then continue from then on. Okay, see you guys later. So we are on our way in. It's a massive botanical garden, but with a difference. You will see. <laughs> anyway, um, you had to book time slots for entry and all that because of this whole COVID situation. And I'm very curious how it's it all going to be. It's been something I've been dreaming about to see for many, many years. So looking forward to it. Thing is that the weather is okay-ish now. But the forecast for tomorrow and the day after is rain and cold and misery, which is not good. But hey, we'll try to make the best of it. And I can't wait to see the biodomes and all other things that they are on offer. Welcome! Just a quick glimpse of what used to be here and what they turned it into. This used to be one of the most biggest clay pits in Cornwall, or maybe even in the country, I'm not sure. And they turned it into a little paradise. There we go. That's an aerial image of it. It's awesome. Okay, this is a side-by-side -side one of the same thing I just showed you. It's so cool. And there's some pretty cool drift through sculptures of horses. Okay. Nicely done. Let's see them together. See the description. So, as you might have read, one is driftwood and one is a copy in bronze. <laughs> cool. And a quick look of the map, which will be useful. Uh -huh. We have to queue up to get in, even though you booked your time slot. Look at those. Amazing biodomes full of treasures which I'll be visiting later and tomorrow and the day after. I want to take it slow and show you everything and see everything in detail. This is an awesome place. Getting in wasn't smooth because there was some sort of mix up with the booking. <laughs> Why would anything ever go smoothly? But hey. I am happy. I'm in! The Eden Project! Yay! This is the lookout area where people are queuing up to take selfies. <laughs> but it's an amazing view. Look at that. Yeah. 
it's spectacular. And so are the colors around us. Okay, let's begin the exploration. Today I'm gonna try and do the wandering of as much as possible outside because tomorrow the weather is gonna be horrid. So, <laughs> yep, that's gonna be the day for the biodomes. There's some interesting sculptures here. I hope that there's gonna be signs and explanations for things. So, we know what's what. This is meant to be like a wild garden of Cornwall. Okay, I have to show it to you once again because it's just breathtaking. That very, very big one on the left is a biodome that contains the largest captive rainforest in the whole earth. So that's going to be pretty cool to explore and see a proper rainforest. Can't wait, but as I said, that's tomorrow. <laughs> now, let's go zigzag down and see what is there to see. We are in the wild Cornwall section, and I want to have a look at these little beauties. Just quite busy, so as much as I'm trying to avoid other humans, that's not going to be possible. <laughs> but hey, it's a place for everyone. Mm. I love the colors, I'm not sure if they show properly, because it's a bit overcast. The heather and... I have no idea what else. There's a million little different plants. Just look beautiful together. This little house we just saw from the side is a home for bees. And let's see them. Okay, how can I do this? Glass reflection is always a pain. <laughs> They're busy, as always. The busy bee expression has not been created for no reason. These are the native dark honeybees. They're really cute. And I learned something new, I didn't know. That the queen lays daily about 2,000 eggs. <laughs> wow. And she can live up to five years. So that's a lot of eggs. <laughs> I have tried the Cornish honey and it's delicious, very rich, yummy. More flower. It's up close. I like the raindrops on them. It rained a few hours ago. So. It's pretty. 
pretty wet everywhere. I think that the path will come back this way, down to my right, as you can see. The trees have started to change their color and they just look so beautiful. We are getting into a forest area and there is the remnants of blackberries, there's hawthorn berries and I'm not sure what this one is but everything just looks beautiful look at that trying to catch the light properly because the greens over the path are just so lovely I just spotted commemorative uh, leaves made out of metal, probably of folk who used to come here and loved it to visit. It's a lovely gesture. <laughs> That's a funny one. Oh, for the fly high chick. Oh, okay, there's loads. I'm not going to show them all. I wonder what this is. You can see this is a traditional way of stacking the stones to make usually fences or in this case it looks more like a little house or I don't know, stables or something Not sure what they originally planned I'll try to go around it and see if we can go inside But it's a very very clever way I've seen this in other places Look No concrete, no cement, no nothing to hold them together. Okay, we can see it in its entirety from here. It's pretty cool. Sadly, there's no description or anything that what exactly it was. It looks like a little house to me. You're not allowed to go inside. But look, there's plants growing in inside of it. <laughs> cool. Ferns and oak trees and not sure what those are. like the colors and there's some funky things on them are they the eggs of something they look like little seed beads <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that they are organic so if anybody knows, please enlighten me. 
way. Oh, focus, please. Okay, I think we saw them better here. There's random little, <laughs> I don't know, sculptures and things. Like this one is completely made out of some sort of stone. But they look like massive books. Look. Really funky. <laughs> I like it. And something else, like a stone flower miniature statue, and another one. And the molehill, <laughs> and another little stone statue. Of an acorn, or I'm not sure. And the boot, a stone boot. With laces and all. <laughs> Coming out of the wall. <laughs> this is so cute. Uh. Some late blossoming honeysuckle, I think. And I spotted a little spiderweb full of raindrops. Look at how beautiful it is. And another shot of the biodomes <laughs> from behind the trees. They are ready to fly away. They just need to dry because as I said it was raining earlier. Look, these ones are tiny. I'm not quite sure what plant it is. Mm, like big stones covered in moss and ivy. Oh, look, it's beautiful. And there's a little snail down there. And the beautiful fern. And another one. Just have to show them to you because they're gorgeous. And the changing of the colors makes them even more beautiful. And in the meantime, people just keep galloping <laughs> past me. <laughs> but my plan is to take my time and look at things properly. That's why I planned it as a two and a half day expedition because I want to see everything and enjoy my time in nature in and out <laughs> the biodomes look at this rock too wow beautiful and the colors of things that are already dying And I spotted something different on these rocks. And I'm actually not sure if they're mushrooms or some sort of lichen that I'm not familiar with. Whatever it is, this greyish black one, it's beautiful.
Okay, we are not allowed to go down that path because um, it's not safe. The rocky bits from there dislodge and they can squash you. So for the time being, it's closed. Found a different plant. Let's have a look at the flowers up close. Pretty little things. And I spotted just next to it wild strawberries. There's no fruit left, but the leaves are still gorgeous. And this is triggering beautiful memories from my childhood. <laughs> well, my dad used to go foraging for mushrooms and he would bring us home a few little wild strawberries. <laughs> Oh, more ferns again they are drying up but look at the colors these are the proper autumn colors so so pretty and let's have a look if we can see the spores on them come on wind collaborate there you go. It's really, really cool. More autumnal colors. The way these dry, they're just so pretty. Let's have a look at you. And some tiny rose hips. And look at these colors on the edge of the leaves. Beautiful. And the maples, or at least I think they're maples. Oh, pretty. And I have no idea what this is. They look like either blackberries or raspberries. But the colors are very strange. <laughs> but very fitting with the rest. Lovely. I found some more. So they are not blackberries or raspberries. They are part of whatever this plant is. Because they are attached to the end of it. Try and turn it. Look. Really interesting. I've never seen something like this before. More gorgeous colors. More maple leaves. They're just so beautiful. And these ones that just started turning. I 
Well, autumn is definitely one of my favorite seasons. I like them all. But spring and autumn rule. <laughs> Continuing the journey down into the middle of the former clay pit. Path is just so beautiful. And those were the maples. I just showed some leaves to you. More amazing colors. Now I'm pretty sure that these, this one is meant to be this color. But it looks really amazing with the green around it. And when it turns, it goes red. Look. Lovely elderly couple in front of me. <laughs> okay, well, more leaves. I just can't have enough of them. <laughs> They're so beautiful. There are so many different plants to my left. I'm not even sure what to look at. <laughs> but let's have a look at some tiny raindrops. And some tiny flowers. And some little yellow ones. And some white ones. Let's have a look at you. There. It's really intricate. And more flowers. They have planted loads of blossoming things onto this side because this is the honey bee trail so obviously they are making sure that the little workers will find enough pollen and stuff Oops. and more autumnal colors look at these beautiful leaves Look at that one. And a different kind of flower. <laughs> Some sort of wild lily, I don't know. And I found something else. There. There is a label underneath saying Royal Gravilea from Australia. But I'm not sure if it's this one or something else next to it. And look at these beauties. So gorgeous with the raindrops on them. Pretty, pretty, pretty. There's more. Trying to show you as much as I can from the things I see, but if I take it even slower than this, <laughs> then I'm never going to get down to the bottom of this hill.
and I didn't get really far. <laughs> Look at this one. So beautiful. Something that finally has a name, pineapple sage. And it still has flowers as well. And an African daisy. Gorgeous. I found some bromelia looking plants here. Uh, Try to get there. They're really large. And they're a bit far from me to get to. We're about halfway down now. And the trail continues. And some agave looking things. Oh, I'm not sure what it is. They should really put the names of things everywhere. Look. Blossom sprouting out. And some fuchsias. And you just saw a little bee landing in that one. Beautiful. Little pinky purple beauty. And this is a little olive tree and it's full of beautiful lichens. Look. So pretty. Just so you see that it is indeed an olive tree. <laughs> It's got water inside from the rain. You see it there. And a very, very big one there. <laughs> and there's a strange sculpt sculpture made out of metal. And it says danger industrial plant. You can see that it's made out of different bits and they were used. It does look pretty cool. Now these thin long plants, looks like reeds or bamboo, there's a label saying Mammoth Miscanthus. I'm not sure if that's the one I'm looking at, but this is what's in this area. If anybody knows better, please let me know. And they are from the other side. They're really cool. And let's continue the exploration. Oh, I just saw some berries that are black. And they are not blackberries as we know them. A part of this plant. Mm. 
And there's more here. Let's have a look up close. They're really beautiful. But I keep saying that for everything, but I do find them all so beautiful. Okay. Let's go into the woods. Just noticed that they made this thingy. So the wines grow nicely over it. It's beautiful. It's like a little tiny sanctuary. More cool rocks and ivy. And I like this woodland area. And with this, oops, it's gonna be dark. I am going to stop here for part one because I'm trying to keep each video around 35 minutes and not longer. So I hope you enjoyed this little intro into Eden. <laughs> and uh, please check out part two and three and four. And I have no idea how many there will be in the end, but <laughs> there will be always links for the next episode in the description below the video. All right. Uh, I shall continue with part two. Wish you all a good day. Bye.